At the end of this tutorial, I'll show you how to simulate water into containers and make sure that the containers hold the liquid. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. The best way to pour object into water, let's use two examples. So we'll choose a default cube like this. First thing we want to do is press tab to go into edit mode, press 3 to choose face select. Choose this top face, press X and delete that top face. And if you want, you can press numpad 1 to, to be in front orthographic, tab to be in edit mode and you can press G to grab it well make sure you select everything actually wireframe then G to grab it Z only on the Z axis and 1 to lift it up here once you've done that you can press S to oh hold on undo you can press tab to go into object mode and then press S to and whenever you scale now in object mode it will scale in line with the, uh, with the line now that we've got this shape done we're going to press G X minus 4 no minus 8 and we'll leave it there now we'll create an, get another shape mesh and we'll use a cylinder once again we're going to press tab to go into edit mode G Z 1 tab to go into object mode S 2 and now we'll press tab again to go into edit mode and 3 to choose face select We'll select this top face, X, and delete that face. Now that you've got your two shapes that you want to work with, we can go into object mode, we can select both shapes, and you might have created your own shape. As long as it's a simple shape, this will work really well. First thing we want to do is go to the physics properties fluid, and we're going to add an effector. And the most important thing here for it to work, you need to choose planar. And you could choose more subdivision steps for more realism, but Plain R is fine. And uh, we'll do the same with, with this one as well. Fluid, Effector, Plain R. Once you've done that, we're going to press Shift A, Mesh, and we'll just use a UV sphere for the water pouring part. Chuck it up here, or about there, is to make it a little bit smaller. Chuck it there. And we'll click Fluid, Flow liquid inflow and you can kind of leave everything as is although you can up these sampling sub steps between each frame for better quality but we'll leave it for now in this tutorial we'll press shift d x and just bring the other one over here as well and once you've got your two flows the last thing you want to do is create your domain shift a mesh and we'll use a cube and uh, in this case we can press tab to go into edit mode G Z 1 and we can just press G Z and bring it down just a tad like that and tab to go into object mode and we just press S and we can scale this puppy up to about there that should be enough G X and that captures both of them quite nicely in fact we could probably press tab to go into edit mode choose the top part here numpad 1 G, Z and bring it down to about there. Once you've done that you want to click on fluid, domain, liquid and we could mess with settings here but this is just an example. One thing I will do is I'll click on modular, resumable and I'll bake this in. Alright so if we press play here you can see the water pours in the container gets stuck in the container. The one issue that you're going to run into here is that it's not using the full content. So right, now we want to click on number one, our domain. Let's free everything up. And we can just up these steps. Upping the steps does help a little bit, but it's not the most important thing. It's just something I like to do. Also, this, the resolution helps a lot. So let's up this to 150. And uh, let's scroll down. What else could we do we want to change it? Everything else is more or less okay. Next thing we want to do is select our flow and we can increase the subsampling steps for a bit more accuracy to 25 for both of them from 0 to 25. That's how many, how many samples it does per frame. So it will lead to more accuracy. Then we can choose our effectors and we could say we can tell it what to do. For example, we could say, listen, yeah, it needs to have a subsampling of 20 as well and the thickness needs to be 0 0.000001. Oh, that's no good. Okay, there it is. 0 
but let's make it zero point uh, zero point zero 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 one and we'll do the same over here zero point zero zero one and we'll make this 20. In fact, let's make this 0 0.1. So there's a huge difference between this and this and this over here. Once you've set that up, we can choose the domain and we can bake the data again. All right, enough of the render is completed for me to show you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If we press play now, we'll see that it's a lot closer to the edge. I'll let it run through. Once again, please don't forget to like and subscribe. There we go. Much thinner line than before and much closer to the edges of the containers. And the flow water simulation looks a lot more realistic as to how flow will look. I mean, how water will look. There we go. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.